Hey there. I, I am currently trying to find a new world or a low populated one to check out the road to 60, I think it's called, above. So for that reason I've created a new character on a new server and I want to find out if it is indeed a new server or a low populated one since I am a scrub and don't know how to check that. So I decided to record the starting video uh, with my character just so I can rewatch it later or whatever. Yeah. So let's look at it. Uh, this time I chose yeah. a moonkeeper um, yeah. cat instead of a sunkeeper. Even though generally I go with the sun cats. I think she kind of looks like an Uchiha with the black hair and red eyes and all that. Yeah, I decided to once again go with the white mage, uh, simply because the Q pops for healers and tanks are faster than for DPS. And of course, leveling a healer is a different story. I mean, doing quests and killing stuff. Oh jeez, the girl was moaning in her sleep. And what if something pleasant was going on in that dream? Mind you, I'm not exactly a big fan of the mute uh, cutscenes, but oh well. Moogles sure are a funny bunch. I kind of look a, like a mix of kitties and piggies and bats. Normal falls can't see or hear us, which makes you special pop. And seeing as how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The wood's been restless of late. Lots of strange things happening. Have you chance to witness anything suspicious, Kupo? <laughs> Drunk Moogles, eh? But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Kupo. I'm guessing that Kupo is his mental tick, uh, verbal tick, or something like that. Ooh, more of them. They're funny little fluffies. Uh uh uh. Ah! And the thing. Whoops. Grudani is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how about you keep me company till we get there? Them young'uns 
don't care much for conversation, see? They are, they're so cute. Bremen's the name, and peddling's me trade. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you were one of them new adventures. Am I warm? Yeah, honestly, what exactly is unusual here? I mean, yeah, the, the hand things might have been a little bit slow, smaller. But otherwise, I mean, she's wearing a top, she's wearing a skirt, some high boots. What exactly is unusual? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows. Seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call leaving. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring is a risky business these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Oh, oh wow, we actually have some choice here. Why did you become an adventurer? To gain power? To win glory, to amass a fortune, or dot dot dot. It's dot dot dot. That's always such an interesting choice. I think, well, I don't really care much for glory, and I'm really bad at making money, so I think I'll just go with power, because, yeah, I wanna be a kick ass white mage so that I can take my cane and whack it in somebody's head for sure because I mean that's how you heal right you just hit things before they can you know hurt someone power as in uh, power to do good like protecting the weak and fighting for what's right and all that hey I thought that's what you meant well adventurers do get up to a lot of fighting that's for sure You'll never be short of a chance to polish your warcraft in the adventuring business. When you arrive in town, you'd best enroll at the Adventurer's Guild. They'll set you on the right path. And it wouldn't hurt to join a guild, either. Gridania's home to a few, so if you fancy learning how to fight with a bow, a polearm, or even spells, you should think about seeking one out. No, obviously not one of them, but the one that that you selected as your main class, but that's details. Just remember though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. And you know what? He is actually quite right. Halt! Go no further. What's this then? Wow! What's going on? A skirmish has broken up. Uh, a skirmish has broken up. What the fuck? A skirmish has broken out up ahead with the Ixal. For your own safety, you must remain here until. Or you know what? Better not. Bloody hells. We shall hold them here. Try to break clear. We run, chicken, run. I think I'm a little hyper today or something. That was too bleeding close. Nice of the exile to send us a welcoming party though, eh? Joking aside, this won't be the last time we meet those feathered fiends. So just you take care, right? By the by, is this your first trip to Gridania? I don't know, she's quite pretty, but I, I can't help but think that she has a little bit of hamster cheeks. Not that I'm one to talk, obviously. Uh, let's say no, cause... Thought not. Ah, uh, but I'll wager there have been some changes since your last visit. Allow a journeyed itinerant. 
to teach you a few new things about your destination. <clears throat> the city of Gridania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest lushest forest in all of Eorzea. Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be, saying that, not since the Calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and gave the Excel unneeded encouragement. Birdman raids become a daily occurrence. Ah, at long last. Behold Gridania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. Yeah, I, I have a habit of reading the di the, the dialogue and the cutscenes aloud. The Black Shroud, oh, oh. the ancient let's, let's forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. Yes, yes, that's us. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of oh, these this are just great so realm. Ah, here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the Marcus to deliver me wares. Then it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by way of thanks for keeping me company. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. May the matron take her to her bosom, that she may never want. And in her heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity. I love making screenshots in this game because it's very, very, very pretty. And here's where I will end this. And I will see you very soon when I discover... Actually, no, let's wait. Let's wait and see if this is in fact a new world. Or at least a low populated one. Because if not, then I'm just gonna have to do it all over again. And I really don't want to. Ooh, we get some more cutscenes. Yay! I love cutscenes, especially voiced ones, but oh well. It's like watching a movie. See? I mean, it's, it's not as if she's dressed in a weird way or anything I mean god knows there is quite a lot of very weird things here um, as far as clothes are concerned but I think this actually looks good you there yes you your face is not known to me newly come to the city no doubt oh my god Dude, don't scare my kitty. I am Bertinent, a wood whaler of Gridania. It is my duty to protect our nation from her enemies while welcoming those who may yet prove her friends. Let us see which you are. Okay, so as you can see, you can control either with your mouse or with your gamepad. Obviously, I'm on a laptop, so I'm gonna go with mouse and keyboard. No, I don't want to see these. Yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 